Hey guys, I'm going to back here for another video, guys. Today, we have a lot better of a college team than last video. And I don't mean like a shot at Ohio State. I mean in Madden purposes, this is a better team. So like, in real life, I don't really have a difference. I'm a Notre Dame fan, okay? But today, we have the all-time Alabama squad. Now, someone asked this last video, I'll kind of comment on this now. For some reason, whenever you do your top five players, it always shows Jalen Ramsey as one of the players. Even though it says Quinton Williams right there, D-tackle, 90 overall. For some reason, it always shows Jalen Ramsey. I don't know why this is a glitch in Madden, but it is what it is. So the best cards on the all-time Alabama squad, the only player we're missing, by the way, is 92 overall, Amari Cooper. Uh, he's the only card we're missing here. But Patrick Sertain, Derek Thomas, Josh Jacobs, Biscuit Boy, and Quinnen Williams. And let's get right into it. So the best quarterback we have for the all-time Alabama squad in Madden right now is Tua Tagalola. Which I, I hope he is okay. You guys saw yesterday's game. There was like a piece of his flesh that was taken out of his arm. So... I hope he's okay and everything works out for him because that was definitely a scary sight. We got Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, and Najee Harris. Yeah, Alabama produces like the best running backs in the NFL. It's not even a joke. Receiving court, we should have Amari Cooper in here, but we don't. Obviously, 92 overall Amari Cooper. There's also Julio Jones, who's not currently in Madden, even though he's in real life. Like, there's no Julio Jones card in Mutt. He's obviously playing in real life right now for the Eagles. Zeke Elliott plays for the Cowboys. There's no Zeke Elliott caught in Madden. I don't ask questions. I just accept the fact that this is Madden. All right, so we have Devonta Smith. We have John Menchie. And we have Jerry Judy. Also, Jalen Waddell. For a tight end core, there isn't really many great tight ends from history when it comes to current players. Um, Ozzie Newsome, old-time Cleveland Browns player. He's a great example of one of the best players from Alabama. Ironically enough, he's the reason why the Ravens took Marlon Humphreys and so many players from Alabama, including C.J. Mosley. Um, but Irv Smith, O.J. Howard, and Cameron Latu are the guys because, again, like I said, Ozzie Newsome is not in the game right now. We have Bradley Bozeman, Ryan Kelly, Evan Neal, and Landon Dickerson, and Cam Robinson on the offensive line. So the offensive line is kind of interesting. Now the defense is where things get really interesting. So we have Eddie Jackson. We also have Xavier McKenney. Of course, we do have Derek Thomas, another legend here at well, a linebacker. 90 speed, man. Yeah, this card is uh, really freaking broken. I'll be honest with you. Looking at all the cards in this lineup so far, though, it's not many legends. I mean, is that the only legend we have? Yeah, there's only one legend. No, two legends on this whole entire lineup, which is kind of crazy. We have CJ Mosley, Mac Wilson, and Henry. Two, 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 two. Biscuit Boy, Kareem Jackson, and Brian Branch. We have Fruit Punch. We have Jaron Reed, Will Anderson Jr., Quinnen Williams, Jonathan Allen, Dalvin Tomlinson, Deron Payne, and Davis. Now, if you know anything about Alabama, the whole thing is they always have the best defensive line in football. It's literally like an NFL defensive line playing in college, which is never fair, and it's literally the most OP thing about Alabama is their defensive line. They have the best running back core usually. They have great quarterbacks, great wide receivers, because let's be honest, if you are sending your kid somewhere, you're probably going to send them to Alabama because, you know, it's a great college to go to. Chance to go in the NFL is very high. So you, you know, send them to Alabama. But the thing is, when it comes to secondary players, it's not many secondary players like cornerbacks who've been very successful in the NFL. For example, Marlon Humphrey, Mika Fitzpatrick, Trayvon Diggs, Patrick Sertain II, and it's also Levi Wallace is literally the best guys pretty much. 
I mean, you had Dre Kirkpatrick, the Bengals took way a while ago. But other than that, there's not many cornerbacks that come out of Alabama that are successful. The reason why is because their defensive line is always so good that their secondary really doesn't have to block long enough. So a lot of these corners, they don't really develop. Even though it's like funny to say this because like, but they're playing for Alabama, one of the best colleges. Yes, but they don't have time to develop in college because their defensive line is so good, they don't have to cover for long. They might cover for like maybe two, three seconds before this defensive line just gets right to the quarterback, sacks the quarterback, and makes huge plays. And then you kind of figure out why this defensive line, all these defensive linemen, are going to be top five picks, top ten picks, because they put up crazy numbers. So in the end, the secondary looks good, but in reality, a lot of these secondary players, they really aren't really that great when it comes to the NFL. I mean, you got to think, there's only four players here, and one of them is a safety. <laughs> and obviously, again, like I said, Levi Wallace is not currently in Madden, which again is so weird because he literally is in... He's literally on the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. <sighs> I don't know why I ask questions anymore. So I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of thinking about this is combining my all-time, you know, Alabama squad with an all-time Ohio State squad. Because if we go through last video, I think we actually have some pretty decent options here. Yeah, so we have like Taylor Decker, for example. So I might do a uh, video on my main channel today. Make sure you check out the main channel of an all-time of both squads combined. Because again, like I said, if you are going to run an all-time college squad in Madden 24 here, you're probably not going to run this squad right here. But if you saw it combining, you know, squads together, especially for colleges, you can really be pretty dang good. I mean, you're not going to get any chem boost, sadly. EA doesn't get any chem boost for college teams. But when it comes to strictly just like this purpose, you can actually put together a pretty dang good squad just by combining maybe two or even three colleges. Probably two colleges is a realistic number people go with. But again, like I said, you could even combine three if you really wanted to. Um, because some of these receiving cores, I mean, they're just OP. Like, you go through the Big Ten, and you're just going to get the best players in Madden, period, right? And then you're going to get, like, some, like, crazy random school and it's gonna be like yeah that guy went to that random school and he's like one of the best players i can't even think about like a player who's like great in the nfl went to a random school i mean i guess you could say sauce gardner went to cincinnati uh that's a kind of random travis kelsey and jason kelsey went to cincinnati uh college so that's another i guess like a random school that not many people think about but you know obviously very successful and I, I can't think on top of my head of anyone else. There are other schools that have been like kind of random schools that, you know, have produced very successful NFL players. But I can't think of anyone on top of my head, guys. Definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, though, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.